Hey folks, Malthorn here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we continue our adventures in the Rise of the Gurids, and this episode is going to be a lot more stable than the last one, in more than one way. If you weren't here for the last episode, we somehow successfully defended a crusade, even though it was going horrendously wrong. The AI managed to turn it around, we managed to defend it, and we got 5,000 uh, prestige out of it, which made us a uh, exalted amongst men. So we're going to go attack the Hafafids in a kingdom war and take their entire realm. Well, subjugate it into our realm, basically. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a good time. We're, we're making such good progress now on this achievement. Um, as I said at the end of the last episode, a little bit slow going, I'm not going to lie. Well, I can't lie. This is like episode 42, so it's obviously gone a bit slow at times, this campaign. But I'm really happy with how it's going. Oh, she's got the cool glasses as uh, Valia. Um, actively supporting and his liberty... Wait, we got a liberty faction? Oh no, independence faction. <laughs> See, I don't mind about this. Uh, the liberty faction, we managed to go up to liberty 3, or crown authority 3, I should say. And that allowed us to change to uh, high partition. Now, it's not the end of the world if we have to go back down to 2. Like, it's not. In, in some ways, it helps us, because it means that our uh, levies are smaller. And you might think that doesn't help you. Well, it does, because when we raise our army, we're not raising 20,000 troops. <laughs> Which is funny. We could just raise less than 20,000 troops. But I think you know what I mean. It's always a bit weird tr not, like trying not to raise all your troops. Oh, we're actually going to lose this fight? Oh, because this was technically their land. Ah, that was a mistake then. Oh, it looks like we're going to turn around. Oh, we are going to turn around. So never mind. Well, do you know what? We'll actually keep some of these. Because we'll need them to finish off all of this. We've been invited to another grand wedding. Oh, two grand... Okay, everyone's getting married. Oh, okay. How old are we? 48? We could go to one of these grand weddings, I suppose. We will make some friends. Uh, where is this one? Valley Adils. Where are you? You're over here. That's a long way to go. Well, Sultan... Uh, Sultan... Well, we're not going to him. He's only a duke. No, he's only a count. Get out of here. I don't care about that. I don't want to go to no count's wedding. Uh, Rajapatana. Oh, our old friends in Rajapatana. Nice. We're actually allied to this guy. And, uh, are we still allied to him? Yes. Who's he getting married to? I'd like to make to the marriage of... Is that his heir? Our nephew here. To... Look at, oh, look at the armor there. That armor is amazing. Catholic Maguero Slovian. What? <laughs> Uh, okay. That's a, that's a weird comp. Oh, we won't arrive in time. So, yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're going to have to say no. Anyway, yeah, we did dis we, we did defeat their army. We'll remove the siege here, and then we'll get on with this. Oh, our uh, brother-in-law, Kumars, has been uh, slain in the Battle of Bamper. This one here? Well, that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> oh, whoops. Kind of our fault, I guess. Our sister... Oh, yeah, that's who she was getting married to, wasn't it? So, uh, let's... Yeah, you can marry this guy. Whatever. It's matrilineal, so whatever. Uh, we can ransom off some people. We shall do that. Oh, they're all from the same guy. It's always annoying when that happens. You have to wait <laughs> for, for it all to finish. Well, we can't do this. We haven't got the money. Uh, we can't... We're not going to demand hostages. That can all go away. And then, yeah, we'll run. I mean, it's 10 gold, isn't it? It pays our army for half a month. He can't really say no. And there we go. We can remove that. 46% his army ran away, which is great. And then we'll go here. I mean, they should really fight each other. They are in a war against each other. It looks like they are going to try and do that. Oh, they are going to do that. Nice. That actually helps us because his army is going to get even more defeated. And then his rebellion is actually winning. Um, should we fight the rebellion? I guess we might as well. I've studied the Iranian language. Nice. Yeah, we'll make friends with you. Why not? The more people that are friendly with us. We are a diplomatic character, so, you know, making friends is all good. It means more people are going to vassalize to us and things like that if they're from outside our realm. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> he ran away. Oh, you're going to come pay homage to us? Nice. I mean, that's the thing about having such a large realm now. All these people that come pay homage to us are just giving us money, basically, for nothing, which is great. 
Uh, we are losing so much money from having this army, uh, the army upkeep from this. Anyway, we've got an event, a flesh wound. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Zerzid, uh, a diplomat from my ally. I mean, I don't really care. I don't want to lose 100, I don't want to lose any gold. So I'm just going to say, uh, your liege is paying for my carpet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, your liege is going to be annoyed because uh, he's paying for this now. Uh, embassies, learn language scheme. We could do that, I suppose. Uh, foreign effectiveness. Title creation doesn't really affect us anymore. Although, how much is it? Is it 20%? Now, nah, let's just do this. Let's get foreign affairs effectiveness. It's going to boost how good foreign affairs is, which we can switch back to. I mean, look, everyone loves us now. The Exalted Amongst Men bonus on its own is doing a lot of work to, uh, to save us from some bad stuff. Um, oh, the one thing I wanted to do, actually, before I forget is can we reform our culture now or can we actually can we merge into another one again we can't form hybrid with a uh, registan or this one or this one or this one uh oh it's not present in any of our uh places that's why persian i mean we could just reform the one we have but like merging it with another one is usually quite good Oh, they don't like us enough. 32%. Actually, well, do you know what? Let's have a, just have a look at uh, reforming it. Can we just add another one? Oh, if we can just add another one, I'll just add another one. Communal, is this good? Mercenary building. Mm, can we change this now? Oh, no, these are really expensive. 20,000. Yeah, I'm not going to have 20,000 culture anytime. Um, prestige anytime soon. Oh, we'll just add a new one to it then. We'll just do that. What's the Lord of the Elephant? Getting the decision to re recruit jungle commanders. The elephantry line of buildings has additional bonuses. Rulers with the Grey Eminent, Midas Touch, Mastermind Philosopher, or Brilliant Strategist traits are considered a uh, Garja party and gain significant cavalry bonuses. And basically our cavalry just get buffed, which we do have. We do have cavalry or uh, we do have elephants already from uh, our last merge. Uh, I think... Yeah, the innovation we got from our last merge gave us elephants. Um, so does, does this one actually help us that much? I know it makes elephants better. It does make them a lot cheaper. Though. The maintenance is is significant. But would it be better to do something else? Uh, oh, what's this? The just trait is more common. The honest trait is more common. Uh, what is... Uh, what are what are our virtues? Temperate, generous, and just. So yeah, anyway, this is going to be the usual. Um... Oh, where's the reform bit? Here it is. Um, yeah, this is going to be the usual like fifteen minute look through all these before I decide which one I want to do. <laughs> so strapping, strapping, folks. And we're going to be looking at this menu for a good ten minutes probably. Um, because I never remember which ones are good, and I'm not going to look up a guide, so I'm just going to choose the one that sounds cool. Uh, law cost penalty for realm size, minus 50%. Ooh, that's quite good. Just is more common. Just is a, uh, a virtue as well, and the bonuses are better for being just. More, uh, monthly pi uh, prestige per dread is worse. Tyranny is, is, is easier to get, unfortunately. But vast limit plus 30, and title creation cost... Minus 30. Now, legalistic might be quite good for us. Getting all those extra vassal slots. Uh, what are we at now? Uh, realm? Uh, vassals. We are at... Tw oh, we've got 60. Oh, yeah, because we've got kings under us. Oh, it doesn't matter then. Nah, it doesn't matter. Um, we don't want this. This one's useless. <laughs> Ruling cast is just bad, I think. Although different culture peasant factions and populist factions are less common... Ooh, do you know what? I just laughed and said that was bad. That could actually be pretty decent the bigger our realm get. It would mean we basically get less faction spawning uh, against us. It's harder for them to appear. I'm not sure though. What's tribal unit give us? Characters with family hierarch traits, which we could have gone into, are seen as prestigious. Are able to raise more levies. Personal scheme chance 30%. Gain prestige when in granting titles to house members. Lose prestige when revoking them from house members. The loyal trait is more valued. Uh, no. No, we're not going to do that. Maybe warfare, one of these ones. 
Oh, what are we heading into, actually? Let's have a look. Uh, terrain. So we're going to be heading down into, into all of this now. What's this grey stuff? Mountains. Oh, no, we're even further south than that. Uh, what's this? Plains and jungle, basically. We're going to be heading into a lot now. So any of these um, help plains and jungles? I'm guessing one of them does. This buffs deserts, which is good. We, there's a lot of desert, but we've kind of fought all our desert stuff. Um, Highland. Oh, jungle warriors. Uh, the crush is not present in any jungle terrain. Oh, well, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. That is a good point. That is a good point. Adaptive skirmishes. This makes the skirmishes and archers better. Battlefield looters gain gold from battles. Prestige and fame from battles. Uh, minus 75%. Oh, so you, you lose prestige and fame, but you gain gold. It's quite interesting, but I'm not interested in doing that. If we're doing like a Viking playthrough, that'd be pretty cool uh, to pick up. Do you know what? None of these are really doing it for me. Uh, what about just realm in general? Hybrid culture costs 75% less. Wow, that's way less. Culture obsession gains plus 25. That's actually pretty good. I mean, the thing is, it, you can only... Um, uh, hybridize your culture is every 20 or 40 years, so we'd only be able to do it once more anyway, really. Well, hopefully, anyway. Uh, base progress and skill impact on council tasks is increased by 10% for close family members. Composition aptitude by close members. I mean, we're going to have more kings. This one could actually be quite good for us. Because we're going to have council members who are from our house. Or is it house or dynasty? Close. Oh, okay, no. Because these are from our dynasty. House Madrid is from our dynasty. And I think this one is. House Parwan is as well, I think. So, yeah, that would be good, but it's got to be from your direct house. So, maybe not. Uh, what about social? Charitable, equitable, just is more common, honest is more common. Characters of this culture are more willing to send away, take, or return hostages. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm not interested. Uh, eye for an eye. Wait, what's expert artisans? Characters of this culture produce high quality artifacts when completing. Um, eh, saves more money on buildings, which is quite good. Industrious. Gain 25 dormant growth when building is constructed up to once a year. So that's kind of like deceptively bad. Because it can only happen once per year. Does it mean in the same county or just in general? It must mean in the same county, I guess. So you can't just build and destroy a building, I guess, constantly. To just bust, uh, boost it really good. Um, Bustles this culture do not consider differing faith or cultures when... Ooh! Loyal subjects could help us a lot. Bustles this culture do not consider differing faith or culture when joining factions. That would be massive for us, actually. Bustles this culture will often learn... Wait, vassals of this culture do not consider differing faith or culture when joining factions. How could there be a different culture if they're joining? Oh, I guess if you were... If we were a different cult... If we switched to a different culture, people of this culture wouldn't see us as bad, basically. Uh, vassals of this culture will learn languages their liege. I guess that's good. Learning language is, is more often... Uh, is more... Uh, more chance of success. Blood trait is more common. Characters of this culture are more willing to send away... Take or return hostages with their liege. Opinion liege plus 10, plus 5 popular opinion... I don't know, I thought that looked really good, but actually... Because the thing is, most people of this culture, is gonna, they're going to be our faith, because everyone's our faith, so it actually doesn't help us as much as I thought um, than before. What's philosopher culture give us? Not sure. Well, I am sure, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, prolific hunters makes hunts quicker. Hunter trait is prestigious. Characters gain the trait quicker. Eh, not just about that. All that. Spartan. Castle holdings. Castle buildings are cheaper and faster. Ooh. Although, it, no, monthly prestige, minus 35%. Okay, I'm not interested in that. All that. Characters of this culture may become shield maidens. <laughs> That's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Night effect, night effect is plus 25%. Hmm, I think this is just cool to have, but uh, 
We should probably take one of these. Actually, do you know what? I might just take Lords of the Elephant. After that, like, 10-minute discussion, I think I'm just going to take Lord of the Elephants. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. <laughs> it wait, it, it will be established in 28 years. All right. Okay. I thought it was going to be quicker than that. So, well, there you go. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take any of the others because it would be 28 years before they even started to take effect. At least this one in 28 years, when we're, like, down here, hopefully... We'll finish the uh, campaign with a bit of a burst, I guess. Um, anyway, we'll siege down uh, Dibull and uh, get this wall wrapped up. So, yeah, if you if you did sit through that entire uh, section of me discussing cultures and just picking the one that I was going to pick anyway at the start, uh, hit the like button. Uh, it'd be much appreciated. Unforeseen tragedy. Mona here has died. Rest in peace, Mona. Oh, we got a dynasty uh, unlock as well. Sweet. Uh, none of these are good. We'll do this, though. So we're, al we're already up to assertive rulers. This is another 10 vassal limit. So I'm glad we didn't take that one that gave us more. Short drain duration minus 20%, which is awesome. Court grandeur bonus plus 5, which is great. And then the really good one down here. Vassals are less likely to join claimant factions and liberty factions. Which is awesome for us. Again, more stability for the realm. And then righteousness is just good. And then once we've picked up this one... Although, actually, should we pick up this one? Do you know what? I might not do that, actually. I might switch to one of these other ones, because, actually, Righteousness is okay. General Opinion plus 10. Uh, no, do you know what? We'll take it. We'll finish it. Why not? We'll, we'll do it. It's fine. It's okay. It's not amazing, but, again, that plus 10, especially on new characters when we take over, could make all the difference, so we'll, we will actually take it. Um, but, yeah, we'll siege this down. This might win us the war, to be honest. That should, um, yeah, should get it. Well, it might get the war one. If not, we might have to come over and attack these guys again because they're going to kind of uh, be let loose in our realm otherwise. Secret was exposed. Get out. <laughs> I don't care about you. Leave me alone. Blood and spit. Apparently, uh, Maruka spat in my daughter's food during dinner a few nights ago. Oh, she, <laughs> she looks like she's having a bad time. Oh, deceitful. Oh, she's, uh, she's been uh, causing trouble. Um, I'm just going to leave her as de deceitful. It's fine. Deceitful is not that bad. Oh, we seized the uh, Magnificent Urn. Nice. 81%. Okay, maybe we won't win the war from this. Um, oh, he's actually going to come back down here. So we'll, we'll keep sieging this down. Oh, our sister died. Can pardon our steward. I'm going to pardon him. I don't care. Just, just, just like us a bit more. I just don't want you in any factions. I mean, the factions aren't going to be strong enough because we're allied with our three biggest uh, vassals. So none of these are ever going to succeed. Or should we convert this? I mean, I kind of like this. It's pretty good. So I'm going to do it. We're going to go crazy in debt, but it's going to be a uh, display piece now instead. Let's have a look. What is this? The the Quern Bide is pretty good. I really want to repair this, but it's like 800 gold or something ridiculous to repair. Um, oh, no, it's, oh, it's less. Oh, no, it's only 400. Oh, I could have sworn it was way more than that. Anyway, we want to replace this one because this one's terrible. <laughs> Can I destroy this? I'm just going to destroy it. It's that bad. And uh, We'll put the Gurid Warhammer on there. What does it give us now? It's a display item. Oh, yeah, considerably worse. We, do you know what? I would rather have just not done that, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll we'll just do it. Uh, yeah, so he's going to come over and do this. Red and yellow carrots. I met an interesting, perhaps slightly crazy traveler today. He claimed to have seen red and yellow carrots in a faraway land. What a good joke. Everyone can see carrots are purple. I quite like this event because that is, you know, carrots were historically purple and they were just like, not bread, but like, you know, combined together to make them yellow and red like we, like we have them these days. Um, as you can see here, the most common carrot was purple. Red and yellow began to appear during the medieval period and orange carrots came around in the early modern period. But they basically just, you know, combined them and then everyone liked orange carrots, so everyone just has orange carrots now. That's how it goes. So yeah, we'll... Uh, oh, Jihad. Okay, the House of Islam is under grave threat. We now have um, 
Oh, we've won this war. Nice. Uh, we now have access to Jihad. So we'll see where the first one gets declared for. I'm not sure where because they're doing quite well in Spain. Although Aquitaine of this, I could see them doing it for the rest of here, maybe. It'd be great if they did it to somewhere crazy like Tuscany. It'd be awesome. But they haven't actually been pushed back at all. We, we you know, we, None of the Crusades have been successful. Well, there's only been one, and it, but it just wasn't successful. So uh, it's not like we'll just fight that back immediately. Uh, but anyway, we, we won this war. Uh, let's disband our army so we can start making some money. Uh, we have obviously gained all of this, which we don't want. Um, Macran. Um, we own all of this. We actually own all of it. Uh, maybe some of this a... Okay, this is a castle. This is a castle. This is a temple. We'll just give that to someone of our culture. This is a castle. This is a castle. Wow, all of this is castles. <laughs> I thought more of it would be temples. But we need to give away three of these. Uh, we'll give away this one. Although this used to be his capital, didn't it? Oh no, this was, but he, he, he actually kept it. So do you know what? We might be nice. <laughs> give this guy back. Double. You can have one of your lands back. There you go. Now like it. Um, and then we're at eight out of six. So we've got these two. And then I guess the four... Wait, no, these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, so we've got six down here and two up there. This development 20? I mean, part of me wants to just move my capital down here. <laughs> Although this is higher than that now, I think. Yeah, this is 26 now. So, yeah, no. Do you know what? We'll just give away some of this. Because we obviously can't keep it ourselves. I don't think our wife... Oh, she's got zero stewardship. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably why we're at 8 out of 6, let's be honest. Uh, we'll just give away two of these, though. And then this guy, Grant, we'll grant him this. There we go, he can have two of them, we'll keep the rest. We're probably going to have to increase the control down there, I would imagine. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Did we take this? No, we did take this, though. Uh, how long is it going to take to fix this? Four years? Oh, we'll do that, then. That's not too bad. Uh, and yeah, we'll keep spreading our religion, although it's going quite well already. Get rid of these. Doing this, everything else is fine. Um, awesome. Yeah, that went really well for us. Nice. Oh, we can station some more of our men-at-arms because we now have more land. So let's do that. 2.2. Two, uh, 2. We kind of want the best one we can get. We'll do it here, then. We'll replace the ARs that are there. 15.75... Seven. I kind of want... Mm, no, actually, I'm going to get the Ayars the better bonus. Because obviously the desert... Uh, the camels are not going to do as well where we're going to be fighting in the future. So uh, we don't need to worry about that as much. Although... Oh, we have a bit of land over here as well. I, do, I should have given this away instead. Um, okay, we'll give that away next and keep something else down here. So, well, we'll put you here and we'll build something there. Uh, you here. Literally no bonus. Oh, it's because we don't control it fully. Yeah, that's why. At the end of the month, it'll probably update. But I I really... Yeah, because look, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, there we go. We should have waited to, to do that. So we could actually see the full bonuses. Yes, we should have done that. Because <laughs> they are considerably better now. Um, yeah, these should be down here. 16.8. The... Um, yeah, these will go here. 37. That's better. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't care about this. Our son and heir can marry. Oh, is he not betrothed? Okay. Uh, the Tullinids. Oh, so he will be our he'll be our next character. So I'm actually going to marry him internally to one of his children if we have anyone eligible. Oh, wait, no. How old is he? Just come of age, didn't he? I'm guessing you're married. You are. These... Mm, that's annoying, because basically I want to think ahead. So when we play as him, we want him to be married into one of our powerful vassals, because then they're not going to cause him any trouble. So... That's why I'm thinking we'll do this. Well, no, that is why we're going to do this. Not just think it. Um, marry... The thing is, they need to be old enough that we're going to get children from them. I'm guessing you're already married. Oh, you're not. Sweet. You'll do. Yeah, we'll do this. Nice. Because then we've got an alliance with this chap who has 5,000 troops. As soon as we play as that character, he's already got one of his uh, vassals, um, you know, married with him. 
So he's going to get all his bonuses, and then we'll just marry his kids off to the rest. And then uh, we'll we'll do it that way. We don't really need any external alliances anymore. We're, we're big enough that we don't really need that. We could pick up one. Not these, because we need to attack them at some point. But, uh, you know, the Tullinids or the Mosades, we could ally into these. But we don't need to anymore. We're, we're big enough that we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Uh, we have got an internal war going on here, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, what about you, though? You are at war. Oh, you've got a Liberty War that you're defending. Look at this. That's a cool helm. Oh, yeah, we're in debt. We need to get out of debt first. <laughs> Let's worry about that. Uh, do we have any hostages left? We do, but I don't think they're worth any money. No, we'll get a hook on it. That's fine. And you, you're terrible. So you can just go away. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we just need to get out of debt. And then we'll... Um, yeah, we'll move on to Punjab, and then we'll come for these. And then we'll we'll head around here, and then the Bakarids will attack when we... Either they die or we die, and we can, we're can we eligible to attack them, basically. They have a lot of troops as well. I mean, they have 14,000, we've got 20,000. But as we've seen, we need a lot of money <laughs> to be able to do that. Betroth can marry. Awesome. There you go. Great. Actually, how close are we... To getting a you know anyone near us to vassalize to us now Kashmir is a king these kingdoms aren't gonna do it we're gonna get such a negative modifier for being a king that that's just not gonna happen which is a which basically rules out all of these because I think all these realms are now kingdoms yeah they are uh, I'm surprised these haven't vassalized to us oh because they're a different faith that's why yeah, minus 80. Oh, and the minus 100 for bankrupt. Oh, so I think he would actually join us. If we weren't bankrupt, I think he'd willingly join us. Uh, I don't want to play chess. Leave me alone. Schema court, something to kill our Aswa. Don't care about that. Hayastan, exactly 10,000 troops. Interesting. Obviously, they will not vassalize to us. Minus 500. A snake at court. Our courtier, up to no good. Oh, he's going to come pay homage to us and give us 200 gold. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. That got us out of debt. And you are going to vassalize to us. It looks like he's in the north. He is in the north. These chaps here. So yeah, we're heading quite north. We we haven't conquered any of this land up here. These are all just willingly joined us. Um, which is great. I'm guessing he's a king. Or she is. No, he is. No, she is? He is? He is, I think. Um, but they have a different religion, so it's very hard. Although, he will accept. When he's not, no longer in this war, he will vassalize to us. How about you? You can't be that far. Minus 12? Let's sway him. Let's do it. We might as well pick these up for free. Uh, Koatan, I think, is a kingdom. Yes, it is. You're a kingdom. Uh, what about you? See, plus 81. These bonuses we have are just so good. Exalted amongst men, plus 40. Is just so good that these people... Oh, he hates us. Oh, Realm is remote. Oh, because it's not literally attached to us. Which is a bit crazy how that works, but it kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, you're a kingdom. You're a kingdom. You are not, but as we were saying, they won't join us. No, I don't really care about making friends with him. Quam. Oh, he's apostetic as well. So that's why they won't join. I guess we can't... Uh, we can't convert them or anything. Well, we could convert their heir, I suppose. Oh no, he's 32. Yeah, probably not. He's got no child as well for some reason. Uh, the Hamadids. He also doesn't. Oh, they've just won a war. Highest stun. Nice. Lord to your fear are... Uh, you know, we'd just be a generous liege. We'll we don't care about this. We'll get this done. Nice. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll start planning our next attack, which we will do in the next episode. Um... Oh, somebody's trying to murder someone. I don't really care. <laughs> Go away. I don't really care. Uh, Punjab. We could attack Punjab. They are in two different wars now. Who's attacking you? Oh, you're part of this war down here. 6,000 troops. How many will they have if we actually attack them? 10,000. They have got minus money, though. We could conquer the whole duchy in a one war, though. We'd have 60,000 troops. <laughs> We call in all our allies as well. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to declare this war. I think they'll be busy helping in that other one. Or if not, we've got enough troops. Uh, we, we, we will be in debt, but 
Actually, John, let's raise all men at arms here. And then raise local army. Um, let's do this. Let's see how many troops this gives us. Because I don't want to raise everyone, because that's just that's just crazy. Like having everyone raised. We need more than this though. So we'll raise all here. And then we'll basically just turn this off once we hit like nine thousand troops. There we go. We are still losing money, but I think this is a bit more manageable than trying to do it the other way. I will come up and immediately attack them, and then we'll probably just aim down to uh, siege them down. But anyway, it has been half an hour. That is how long we usually keep these episodes. So we're going to leave it there for today. Look at our realm. We are the biggest realm by far now on the map. We're huge. We're basically the size of Europe now, which is crazy with how quickly we've been expanding. Uh, we're going to take Punjab. That's going to be relatively easy. And then we're going to come after... See, these ones down here, we basically need people to start dying so that we can kind of pick off the realms as they die. Because um, otherwise, like, these have got 12,000 troops and they've got, like, eight alliances. And we can't take all of that on. So we're now kind of waiting for gaps to appear. We could attack you. We can't do it now because our army is erased. Oh, they are allied with you. But even you don't have money troops because we do own this tiny bit of land here. So we could... Oh, we're actually allied with them. So never mind. We won't do that. Um, and we won't do that because we're allied to them. Um, but anyway. No, no, no. That, no, that was you. No, we aren't allied to them. It wasn't us. It was you. And it wasn't you. It was them on the screen. Um, but yeah, we could actually do this because we can actually bring our army up here and then just attack around here. But yeah, as you can see, we're doing very well. As we are doing so well, make, to, make sure to hit that like button even. And if you are new here... I play Crusader Kings. I cover the news dev diaries. We cover other historical titles on the channel as well. But we'll leave it there for today. And I'll see you in the next one.